so I'm going to turn it on and I brought one of my old receivers now, I've been using the app on the iPhone since uh, I've been able to so I haven't used this receiver really but you can see this is a G4 Platinum receiver you can see that it's about the same height but it's a little bit skinnier so the the G6 receiver is definitely a little bit bigger so we're just going to turn this on here focus nice little loading screen enter date and time all right so we have the date and time entered review alarm and alerts receive an urgent alarm when your glucose levels drop to 55 or below all right that makes sense. Pretty standard with the app as well. All right, so predictive low alert basically. Regular low alert. So for me, I have mine currently set at 70. Then we have the high alerts. High alert. I like to be ambitious. Go at 130. Sensor code. So this is a little bit new to me. Looks like there's a code on the applicator that you have to enter. So we're going to do that. All right, so I have my sensor code inserted. On yes, sensor code successful. Click next. Find serial number on transmitter box. Easy enough. All right, so I entered the serial number from my transmitter, so this is the next screen I get after confirming. Insert sensor and then attach transmitter. Pretty basic. So now I'm gonna have to do that real quick. All right, so I've got to put in the sensor now. So I just took out my G5 sensor. Uh, so I'll probably have a little bit of redness down there. Um, but basically I'm just gonna take this new G6 one and then put it in. So we've got our sensor here. Gotta pull the little tabs off. So we have the adhesive. Doesn't look too different from the other ones, the G5, the G4, etc. So then let me, whoop, whoop, wrong pan. <laughs> All right. So I always put mine on my stomach. I seem to get the most accurate readings out of that one. Make sure we can see. So I usually have to pinch for mine. And I always put in a similar area. I don't really take shots in that area or anything, so it seems to last quite a bit because the actual part that's in your body is pretty small. It says break off the little safety here. And then I'm gonna pinch it since that's what I usually do and then press the button and that's it pretty strange sensation to be honest so you have the internals there of the applicator but uh, it's really uh, you can see it's pretty flush to the skin you can see all the marks I have there from my shots and stuff, but it honestly wasn't too bad of an application process. Uh, I personally don't like the 
the buttons to apply it. Uh, back when I used to use an insulin pump, that was probably my least favorite form of application is when you just kind of press the button and it shoots into your into your skin. I much prefer the uh, the G5 applicator where it's a hand plunger like that. So a little different, but we'll get used to it. So I just hit the pair button, confirmed that my transmitter was in. And this is the screen that I got. So nothing much going on there. Two. All right. That's our home screen right there. So I guess we'll just hit start sensor. Tap one, two to unlock. And that's pretty much it. That was pretty easy to be honest. Uh, I don't think it was really an improvement uh, or a step back from the G5. Uh, just a little bit different. Then lastly, I put in the G5. Again, I had one more sensor left and I still have a little bit of life on my transmitter. So I figured I'd just put them into, uh, or put the G5 in to give you guys a comparison of what it looks like uh, on the skin. So for this one, we have the G6. And then we have the G5. You can see that one sticks out a lot more where the G6 is very flat profile. So there's a pretty significant difference. So hopefully that gave you guys a better idea of exactly, you know, what the G5 looks like compared to the G6. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys were able to see, you know, exactly what the G6 looks like coming out of the box and in the process for, for getting it started. Um.